the Coanda effect is, is really not that hard to understand. It, it's, it, what it's just saying is when a fluid, in, in our case air, flows around a curved surface, you know, in our case it's, an, it's a wing airfoil, it, it has a tendency to stick to it and to follow it around as it curves around. And uh, the reason why it does this, it has to do with the viscosity of air, you know, the, the friction of the air molecules as they flow past each other, they tend to slow each other down, so that they'll tend to kind of stick to, stick to the surface and follow it around. And it's a key part to understanding how lift works, because without this coanda effect, or you know, without viscosity of air, uh, the air would just kind of flow straight out, and you wouldn't get this high-speed, low-pressure area over the wing, which is what causes lift. Now, uh, some airplanes also use the Coanda effect to generate additional lift by having uh, flaps on the trailing edge. So the flaps and, and the flaps can also be very complicated, but but basically, it's, it's an additional curvature on the on the wing that causes the air to curve even more so it's I mean some airplanes the trailing edge is pointing almost straight down but a lot of the time you know you could do like 45 degrees and that's that's a way of, of do, creating a lot more lift or also a lot more drag but that's besides the point and it, and it's all it all works because of this coanda effect that just uh, it, it just encourages the air to follow the wing uh, this, the, the shape of the wing and out. Now of course if the if the curvature gets to be too much then the air cannot follow the shape and that's when you get a stall.